What do you tell yourself about yourself? What words are you speaking to yourself? I mean, I'm growing in my conviction that what we say has a lot to do with what we end up accomplishing. And not only that, how we feel and the strength that we have. When people are constantly saying self-defeating things, when people are, are saying things about themselves to themselves that are negative, it has a devastating effect on their life. In fact, I wanna, I'll illustrate it this way. I've done this before years ago. It's been a while, but uh, I'll do this. I, I'm gonna need a volunteer, so let's see. Matt, you wanna come on up here? So let's give it up for Matt. <laughs> Matt's one of our second year James River College students. All right. All right, okay, Matt. Come over here and stand right here. You don't have like any injuries to your shoulder or anything. There's nothing that's gonna hurt you, right? Not at all. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I want you, uh, hold your arms out, and then I'm gonna try to push down, you try to resist it, okay? Try to resist it, okay. Very good. Matt's giving him a hand, isn't that awesome? <laughs> now, since I don't have a mic for you to speak into, you're gonna have to say it loud enough people can hear it. I'm gonna give you five statements. I want you to say them. You know, loud enough everybody can hear them, okay? Got it? Will do. I am a loser. I am a loser. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'll fail at everything I do. I'll fail at everything I do. People don't like me. People don't like me. I'm not attractive. I'm not attractive. And I won't amount to anything. And I won't amount to anything. Okay, hold your hands up. Okay? Now, <laughs> say these statements. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. People like me. People like me. God is for me. God is for me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He's given me strength for the battle. He's given me strength for the battle. Hold your arms up. Okay. Now, I want to ask you a question. Was the pressure I was exerting on your arms, did it change at all? Mm -mm. So when your arms, after saying the negative statements, they, you, it's just like you didn't have any strength, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, mm -hmm. did that surprise you? Mm-hmm, it did. Okay, hey, thanks, man. <laughs> now listen, you, you can try it. That's not a mind trick, it's true. Yes. The Bible says this, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. I want you to think about that for a moment. If you're sitting there telling yourself negative things about yourself, you're saying, I'm not as good as that person, I can't do this, I don't know how am I gonna make it through that, and you're saying one negative thing, I'm not as good as them, I'm not as articulate as them, I'm not this, I'm not that, I, I'm weak, I'm this, all these things, and you're saying that, what, what you're doing is you are weakening yourself, you're diminishing your ability to respond to life situations, and you are in fact working against God's work and God's will in your life. You say, well, you know what, John, I'm just being real. Well, you can be as real as you want, but you'll never change anything by using your right to speak the defeat that's on the inside of you. Words have power. Words bring life or they bring death. We have to think about this that the words you and I speak, we're in a spiritual battle. What Satan would like more than anything else is to see you weak. What does God want? Paul says, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. One of the ways that you and I have strength is when we give thought to the words that we say to ourselves. I mean, think of this in 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Very, very interesting. For though we walk in the flesh, we are not waging war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. Some of you have allowed the enemy to set up a stronghold in your life based on the words you say. What you tell yourself about yourself. Listen to this, we destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to Christ. What do you think about yourself? What are you telling yourself? Because everybody has conversations. 
Here's what the Bible teaches, and you'll see this all over. We don't have time to go over every scripture, but I'm going to give you several. Because what you see in the Bible is, the Bible instructs us that we have to learn to control our soul. That we have to be careful, what we, that we don't let our mind, or we don't let this inner man talk to us and tell us. But we instruct it, that we challenge our inner self and bring it into conformity with Christ. So watch this in Psalms chapter 62. For God alone, O my soul, wait in silence, for my hope is from him. The idea is he's talking to himself. Hey soul, You need to wait on God in silence. Instead of worrying, instead of wondering, instead of being all stirred up and saying all these negative, I'm never going to make it, it's not going to work out, I know, what if God doesn't help me? The psalmist says, hey soul, shh, put a lid on it. For my hope is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. Sometimes you have to talk to yourself and you have to say, listen, that that worrying is not helping. Be quiet. I'm not going to be shaken because God is my rock, God is my fortress, and God is going to help me. you got to talk to yourself. 